Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm thinking about oh people the way they've acted towards me as far as my strength, my self assurance, um, physical fitness, um, intelligence, uh, roadblocks and stumbling blocks that maybe some of you have gone through in your life too. Uh, I'm going to go over to Facebook. I'm going to read you something I ran across from my memories on Facebook um, while I talk to you about a few things that have ha has happened hundreds and hundreds of times to me in my life. It's um, I'll give you a for instance. I'm long time ago, no kids, at a bar with my ex, and his sister was there. Um, this is up in a mountain town out in Montana. Um, the atmosphere was so slutty, even with the brother and sister, that I ended up walking 17 miles down a mountain just to get away from the pain I was suffering. Another time, um, there was this, uh, oh, it was a barbecue, a pig roast we had been, well, two, two of them I walked away from, but the one in particular, it's like um, when I've had flirty people around me in my life, I've never had a husband that would say, hey, that's not right, or take me out of any given situation that wasn't healthy for both of us. I never had any of that. I had to take care of that on my own. But um, I'm going to read you something. I have this. I still consider this person somewhat of a friend I, I've had for about 40 years. She's... Um, Oh, I don't know if she's still drinking and doing drugs right now, but um, she almost died a couple times. Just real small woman, petite, um, couldn't afford to not eat, but yet was doing like meth and that type of stuff. And well, I am waiting to pull this up. I'll just keep telling you a couple more stories like this. Um, here's a for instance, I would like in a group saying, say there's, um, two men, two women, two married couples. And I have been through this so, so many times, not just with married couples, but in a group of people just say, okay, this would be me. I'd tell the woman, geez, you look nice today or something. She wouldn't say nothing to me, or if she did, she would say something like, that's a cute top, not really complimenting me at all. And I'm the type of woman that always sees the beauty in other people, men and women, always. I, I never think that there's a woman that's not, doesn't have like a beautiful smile or something, um, of value and beauty to give to the world, but I have never had that reciprocated. Never. So, um, this one woman, <laughs> I, we call her Scary Sherry. Like I say, I've known her for a very long time. Even I'm going to read you about an incident that happened to me. Even when it happened to me, I'll, I'll tell you what I said when I read it to you. You'll hear what I said. Um, displaying my lack of jealousy in the world. But um, I'm pointing out how other people have treated me. Um, I heard the term like, don't throw acid in their faces like women. Boy, isn't that the truth. But the thing is... It's not always um, another woman that throws that acid in our faces. It's men, too. It's a, 
it's not something I would ever, um, just the acid as far as, um, just, uh, what would the word be? Uh, just respecting another human being's aura, you know what I mean? But, so this was 11 years ago. Good morning, I am a proud grandmother. Joya, John and Brittany's little redhead is crawling. Go, Joya. Good thing she isn't taking after me. I was really mobile at that age. Well, because Brittany was saying, wow, she's like all over the place, you know. And, um, yeah. Anyway, no wonder my mom picked the wrong kid. LOL. If there is a wrong kid. And that really is a joke. LOL. Um, I fished some yesterday in the rain. Caught a perch, but it was fun. The lady I was fishing with insulted me. So now when I go to fishing to the tune of George Thurgood's I Drink Alone, only it's I Fish Alone, not with anyone else. I prefer to be by myself. The 82-year-old who thought it was funny to say maybe you want to fish with Sherry, I said, what? And she stumbled to repeat it. I said, maybe I would if she was ever sober enough. The Sherry asked my husband if he wanted to come over to her house for a beer, then looked at me and said, you can bring your wife. I'm like, gee, thanks, lol. I have known what we call Scary Sherry for almost 30 years. So I brushed that off, but the 82-year-old I thought was my friend, and a friend wouldn't hurt her friend, so that's that was that. Now the 82-year-old is sitting by the lake by herself in her car, broke her cars broke down. For some reason, I was too busy to run her to the bank on Friday. Um, fishing's more important, lol. 80, 82 walked down to the lake yesterday in the rain, and I was holding my perch. I used suggestive speech. I said to the fish, you are so cold. You better go home. And I threw it past the 82, past 82, and she was stunned. LOL. And I left shortly after. Well, I feel better now. You'd think old folks would have their ducks in a row. Peace, everyone. Have a wonderful Friday. So that's my personality and that's how I deal with those types of things. I have been the one that has had the acid thrown in my face, not the other way around. I grew up with a really jealous adopted mother and she would even see like um, other beautiful women and um, or a girl and say, well, that's a cute girl and then proceed to talk crap about them or if she said um or if I said I liked some woman she'd say something nasty and I'd say but she's got a pretty dress or a pretty smile or I have been through this sh all my life with people men and women but here's the scenario of the four people or couples in a group and what it was like for me so, and this has happened hundreds of times, hundreds. Um, say, like, if you have a couple drinks or it's a get-together or cups of coffee or whatever the case may be, pretty soon, at first I think, well, the woman and I are kind of, like, on the same level, like mothers or um, family-minded type people and women kind of do things together or even if you're talking in a group as that um there isn't all that lusty mindset type of thing 
and you think, okay, maybe the guy's going to be stupid, or, or like if her husband was lusting towards me, or vice versa, mine was with her, or whatever, but when the woman would join in with the two other men, that leave me the only freak in the whole freak show, you know? So, anyway, because I could control my emotions, and they couldn't, so they couldn't wait to get together to try and hurt me in any ways that they could possibly do, and it seemed like in the past to me that I would have these things happen to me intentionally, no matter what. I mean, I started doing a little experiment, like thinking, I can't prove any of this is true, but um, if she like wished to be with my husband, maybe she would maybe like get pregnant. And then through that realization, realize that that pregnancy was spurred from the desires of wanting somebody else's spouse, <laughs> you know, and it came true. Sad thing about the story is um, the kid ended up taking his life, shot himself in the head. But none of my doing, none of my wishing, nothing like that, just coincidental but so no um it wouldn't be me throwing acid in a woman's face it's most likely another woman or a man you would think why would a man do that why do they you know because like if you're a Muslim woman and you're not wearing your, what do they call it, the hijab, um, that exposing your face is like something evil and you would deserve to have that happen to you. Nobody deserves anything like that. And people that would be cruel to other people because of their beauty or their lack of it or whatever whatever um they can't you know sometimes sometimes I've had a couple friends in my life that were confident enough to be a friend of mine and not hurt me like that but that's only happened a couple times for me most women are so insecure and they are slutty and in a group setting, I can never be comfortable like that because they can't control their self. So I end up having all kinds of things said and done to me because of these slutty minded jackoffs, you know? So thought I'd kind of make that clear and, and give you a little insight on my personality and what that's been like and why. So, well, I'm going to get this uploaded. I have a, it's called Old Boy. He's doing a, a video presentation about the Pulaskians, their history and migration and that type of thing it's been super interesting it's just kind of like a series type thing he's been doing um so i've got to get this going and um because i really don't want to miss that live i want to show my appreciation when people are doing hard work you know i do appreciate the efforts people put in you know especially for understanding for other people. So, oh, and I think I might have found people that are friendly enough to even work through differences that don't get all wound up and 
like we can hear a conflict in the ether and it's gone. You know, that's that's the type of communities I'm searching for out here. So, okay, everybody, I appreciate you joining me. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.